In the dim glow of his phone screen, Mark swiped left. Another rejection, another face lost in the digital abyss. He sighed, resigning himself to another night of scrolling through profiles on the dating app. As he swiped through endless photos and bios, a profile caught his eye. Sarah, her name was, with a captivating smile and sparkling eyes. Without hesitation, Mark swiped right, hoping for a match. To his surprise, the screen lit up with a notification. It was a match. Excitement surged through him as he messaged her, eager to strike up a conversation. Sarah, as the days passed, their conversations deepened, and Mark found himself falling for Sarah. He couldn't shake the feeling that she was too good to be true. Her wit, her charm, her understanding seemed almost otherworldly. One chilly evening, Sarah suggested they meet in person. Mark's heart raced with anticipation as he agreed, arranging to meet at a quaint cafe nestled in the heart of the city. He arrived early, nerves tingling with excitement and apprehension. Minutes turned to hours as Mark waited, but Sarah never showed. Disheartened, he returned home, wondering if it had all been a cruel joke. But just as he was about to delete her contact, a message popped up on his phone. An apology from Sarah, explaining that something had come up at the last minute. Determined to give her the benefit of the doubt, Mark agreed to reschedule their date. But each time they planned to meet, Sarah had a new excuse, leaving Mark feeling frustrated and confused. One night, as Mark lay awake, his phone buzzed with a notification from Sarah. I need to see you, her message read, urgency laced in every word. Despite his better judgment, Mark agreed to meet her at a secluded park on the outskirts of town. As he approached the park, an ear Sarah, Mark called out, his voice echoing through the empty park. But as he drew closer, he realized something was horribly wrong. Sarah's once radiant smile was twisted into a grotesque grin, her eyes vacant and hollow. Before Mark could react, Sarah lunged at him with inhuman speed, her fingers elongating into razor-sharp claws. Panicked, Mark stumbled backward, his heart pounding in his chest. He turned to flee, but it was too late. Sarah was upon him, her ghastly form enveloping him in darkness. In the days that followed, Mark's disappearance remained a mystery, another cautionary tale lost in the digital age. But as whispers of a haunted dating app spread, those who dared to swipe right found themselves trapped in a never-ending nightmare, their screams echoing unheard in the digital abyss. And so, the legend of the swipe of death lived on, a chilling reminder that not all matches are made in heaven, some are forged in the depths of hell.